In this video, I'm going to be giving you three pre-validated software ideas that you can build with no code and that you can start and run with today. Now, before I go ahead and give you these three ideas, I wanna teach you how to fish before just giving you these ideas. So let me tell you about how I came up with these software ideas and the software ideas that I always look for follow these following things. So number one, every single software company that I've ever started is always business to business, meaning I sell to other business owners. I've just found that in general, business owners tend to one, have money and they're more willing to spend their money than when you try to sell to consumers. Now, number two is it's always easy to sell a software when it makes a business owner more money. It's very easy to build a sales argument around a software that's going to make a business owner more money. So I try to always look for ideas that I can approach business owners with and say, hey, this tool is going to make you more money. That makes it way easier for me to sell it. And there's a few other smaller things just like I like to be able to charge over $50 a month and things of that nature. And I like to find companies that they have lots of competitors that are already making a lot of money. Some people might be like, oh, like, doesn't that mean it's saturated? I don't believe in saturation. If there's a lot of people out there making money with an idea, that means we can make money with it too and just, you know, find something to change or improve. So without further ado, let's dive into these three ideas that again, you can build with no code and that you can start build these and you can get your first paying customer hopefully within 90 days by following this protocol. So idea number one is a website visitor identifier. So I got this idea based off of retention.com. So retention.com is a software company that went from like zero to $20 million a year in like two years. And basically what they do is it's like, they're like this code that you can install on your website. And basically you're able to get the contact information of people that visit your website without them even opting into your site. Because of this, you're going to capture, I think like 20 to 40% more emails per month. And obviously if you capture 20 to 40% more emails per month as a business owner, you are going to make more money because then you can reach out to those people. You can call those people. You can connect with them on LinkedIn. And so basically they capture this information. They push that information into a Slack channel and then you can have your sales team reach out to these people. And you know they have some level in of intent with your business because they were visiting your website. You can easily charge hundreds of dollars a month for this idea. It's validated. There's tons of competitors out there. There's not just retention. There's a ton of others that you can go and just look up. If you go and you look up website identification tools, you'll find a bunch of them. You can look up their G2 reviews. You can find the recurring problems with them that people are having, and you can aim to build your own solution that has, you know, maybe it's a different pricing model. Maybe you have a new feature. Maybe you fix a problem that one of them has. That is one idea that I know is validated because again, it's just such an easy sell that you can approach business owners with. And it's obvious that it's going to make them more money, assuming your product works. The second validated idea for you to run with is any sort of automated prospecting or outreach tool. So any sort of tool that is going to automate outbound messages being sent. So whether that's on Twitter, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on LinkedIn, to where you can approach a business owner and say, hey, if you use my LinkedIn automation tool, you're going to be able to reach out to more prospects per day, per week, per month. That's again, a very easy sell because if they're getting in front of more prospects, they're going to make more money. I do know it's more difficult to build this one with Instagram because Instagram really hates automation tools. But you know, I know of a few of these that are doing very, very well on Twitter. Um, I know there's one called Drippy. Um, there's a lot of LinkedIn automation tools that do well. There's Expandy, um, there's Phantom Buster. So like that's validating it for you. There's a lot of players in the space making money. There's even a lot of tools coming out on Reddit now. So maybe Reddit's something for you to look into. But yeah, any sort of automated prospecting tool that's able to automate outbound DMs being sent on your behalf, it's a validated idea. It's gonna make business owners more money. It's an easy sell. And then the third automated idea, it's a little bit similar to the second one, but it is basically automated content scheduling and posting. And so I particularly got this idea because there is Tweet Hunter that automates, you know, your posts for Twitter, uh, whether it's a thread, whether it's a post, there's a lot of like AI features like help you come up with ideas as well that I used to use. And then there's also Taplio, which is the same thing, but for LinkedIn, again, you can schedule your LinkedIn posts. You can do the kind of like these like giveaways where it's like comment this word and I'll send you something and you can automate that. So you can kind of like growth hack like your engagement on certain posts. So any sort of like automated scheduler for content that can also help with ideation. It's a validated idea. Again, Tweet Hunter and Tapio have validated this. There's also Hype Fury for Twitter. And so again, I'm finding these companies that are making a lot of money and doing very well. And I'm looking up their G2 reviews and I'm seeing where they're dropping the ball. Cause we're not just like copying them. Like, you know, that's like bad taste, but the name of business is building better solutions for the end customer. So we are finding these companies that are doing well and we're looking for the hole in the market. So maybe it's, maybe their pricing model isn't fair or maybe people don't like their pricing model. Maybe there's one big feature that they're missing. Maybe their user experience is awful. Maybe it's difficult to use and it's too complex for a lot of people to use. So you can make it simplified version of it. But that is the name of the game when you're doing this 
is you're finding companies that sell to businesses, that make business owners more money, and there's already a lot of competitors out there making a lot of money because that shows you that it's validated, and you're looking for where you can improve these ideas. And so again, just to recap those three ideas that again, if I had some extra time and I had to start another software company, it would either be one of these where it's a website identification tool, or it's an automated prospecting tool, or it's an automated content scheduling tool that also you know uses some AI to help you come up with ideas. I would be running with one of those three ideas. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that not only that I give you some ideas, but I also kind of gave you an idea of the different types of ideas that I look for. So that way you can go out and look for some other ideas as well that are similar to these three maybe. But again, if you want my team to actually build any of these ideas for you and you want me to help you grow it along the way, I'll put the link in the description to work with my venture studio. It's very simple. You just need to watch a quick three minute video and then you can apply because we are looking for a very specific type of person for this. All my other links will be in the description as well, my newsletter, all my free resources. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.